Good morning from Jakarta. Feels good to make it here. We're here with my buddy Ari. He's uh, one of the most renowned food experts in all of Indonesia. And we're gonna be with him here for the next like 12 days. And uh, literally just landed last night. We're starting this morning. We get some satay. What we got? That was where they grill it up. Very nice. So look, Ooh, got a little birdie here. Hello. So we're actually here for Sate Tagal. Tagal is the city we're gonna be hitting later, but we're gonna go ahead and taste their type of Sate while we're here. And they got word they're gonna grill it up right in front. Hello. Hello. Mm. <laughs> it's been a while since I've traveled. I don't understand anything that's going on. But you can see they actually got like a peanut sauce. Looks like I got their sweet. Uh, ketchup manis in the back with some chilies in it. <laughs> Satay very good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you see, it looks like he's just kind of spiking it up right now. I'm gonna guess some goat, maybe all types of like goat innards and opal and everything. Look at that, look at this place, huge. Is this the spot to come get some satay? Satay kambing. Yeah, satay kambing. Oh yeah, we got the, we got the goat right here. <laughs> and look, been here since 1973. So, already was telling me, before Corona, they used to be right over here. It used to just kind of be like a small little house. I think it was, is that laundry now? I think it says laundry. But now they moved into, this bigger space. Actually, it looks like that's one house, so that can be right. Ooh, look at that smoke coming. Getting it going. Threw some fat in there. Got that going. Ooh, look, I'm dipping it. I guess in that little peanut mixture. Got his fan. Oh, <laughs> bad spot to stand. <laughs> So you see we got a lot of pieces here. We got the goat all throughout here, but at the end, he's got to re-spike that one. We got the liver, and here we got the actual, well, I do believe it's a pretty traditional one. We got it with a little bit of piece of fat on there. Very good. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're fun here. They're so fun. And look, y'all, I just noticed, like, he's not using metal spikes at all. I think this is even more traditional, because I do believe this is a bamboo. I could be wrong, but I think that is bamboo right here. Oh, he's grilling that up nice. Look at them char marks. Got his little flapper. Gonna constantly keep oxygen going in those coals, get it super nice and hot. Mm. So he's talking about he's got the goat that they're making right here. They're actually sticking it. He's gonna make a real traditional one here because he put some fat on it. And Ari was telling me, if you want to make this really, really delicious with the goat, you can't wash it all. So if it gets dirty, you actually have to pick it off. You don't want to add water to it because you don't want to dilute the flavor of the goat at all for this. And look at those tiny pieces working. Satay, why delicious? It's a very tedious job. <laughs> Here it is. The satay sauce for the kambing. Good. Plastic. Oh, is that ketchup yes. manis? Yes. Oh, ketchup manis. Yes. Oh. Padas, you know, padas. Right, padas. Okay. Uh, padas is spicy. Right. Yeah, padas. Padas, yeah? Okay. Padas. Padas. Okay. 
Ini ya. So that's gonna be that sweet soy sauce. Gonna have some shallot, chilies in there. And of course, you can't come to Indonesia if you don't like these spicy. You don't like these spicy, you don't come here. Ooh, beautiful. Man, look at that. So the actually sweet soy sauce, but I love that you can see all the seeds and chilies on top in a traditional way on that bamboo. I gotta try a liver one first. All right, a lot of cameras going on here. <laughs> oh, not good. Mm. The way it's clean, the texture on it is soft. It melts in your mouth a little bit. Really, that sweetness, that soy sauce combined with that heat is a beautiful contrast. Now, this is the traditional, it's got the fat on it. Yeah, the fat on it. Oh, no, 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 no fat, no, that's no, no fat. <laughs> This one, this one, definitely. Ah, here. Yeah, it's the fat. So original, traditional. Real traditional here, because it's got that goat meat, but it's also got the fat on there. And me, I love satay kere. Kere? Kere. Kere, which is like the poor man's satay with just the fat, so that traditional, getting that fat on there. Hmm. I think you need the fat. We need the fat. That's need the, the fat. Where it came from? Exactly. Yeah. Mmm, that fat. You get you get the meat part, and I really like it. And I love how they marinated in that goat meat. There, there's no aroma to it all. It's so clean. It almost gives you a little bit of goat lipstick, but that fat is what it's all about. Just burst the juices and soaks in all that sauce that they were dipping it in and covered it in. That's the, the regular. The rich. Man said, <laughs> so it's, it's the most expensive. The most expensive, because no fat. Yeah. Tanpa lemak without fat, 55, right? right. <laughs> this is with five. This is uh, the liver. So I'm a cheap date, because I like, I like the, the cheap one. <laughs> I like the fat. Flavor is there. They're good, but I go original with the fat or the liver any day. Nice and refreshing with the onion, the tomato. I need my spoon. I want more of the sauce. You get it. I think that's how it's supposed to be eaten. I don't know. I think the liver may be my favorite. Yeah. Man. We call it sate ati. Sate ati. Yeah. Sate ati for the win here. Ari makes the good point. It's the way they cut that liver too, not cubing it, but keep it in those thick slices here. You see that? You get that char, you get that effect you want over the coals, but it doesn't dry out. So that inside is still ultra oh, creamy. Beautifully done goat. So fresh, so red, so vibrant. I can't, it becomes a standard here where you see it, where it's just so vibrant there. Not, not been marinating at all, I was wrong. I think I did say it was marinating. Not been marinating in anything, it's just fresh. Wow, and you truly taste it. But, Audrey and I got a lot more planned, so we're gonna walk about five, 10 minutes, keep going, moving down the street. This is like traditional house? This is the shape of the traditional house. Oh, this, oh, this right here. Uh, this is the delivery. <laughs> this little delivery food, food bike. Food bike maybe, I don't know. We got Nasi Padang, we're not going here. We're gonna need another one later, but. If I don't eat nasi padang almost every day, I'm a failure in Indonesia. Here though, stay for the house. Blessed a beautiful day today in Jakarta. It's windy. Actually, no rain. Oh. Squeezing through cars, hitting cars. We're gonna keep walking, got about like five, 10 minutes. Sorry, oh, we're to the Padang place. Oh, we're going to Padang right now. Yeah, one of the best restaurants in Jakarta for Padang restaurant. See, I was just telling y'all, I'm a failure if I don't eat Padang like almost every day while in Indonesia. So we're going to start off strong. First day here, we're going to get some Nasi Padang. Nasi Padang. Ooh, y'all got the mixu. We got that in Vietnam too. Yeah, yeah. Ice cream. Check it out. Have the same type of ice cream in Vietnam. At least 10, 12 different Padang restaurant in the street. Right. And one of the best is uh, 
restaurant Surya. Surya. Surya means uh, sun. That's one of the my favorite. My favorite. Oh, what's it mean? Sun. Oh, sun. Yeah. Sun. Oh, okay. Let's go. Rumah makan Surya. Surya eating house. Well, I'm glad I got Artie with me because one of the hardest things for me in Indonesia is when you go eat nasi padang, choosing what to eat. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna have like, you saw that last restaurant, they're gonna have like 10, 12, maybe more. Just dish is piled, ready to go. Okay, turn my camera off because it was noon prayer. Hold on, let me, let's just get in the restaurant. We're going for Nasi Padang. Wow, so many dishes. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so many, very good. And this is what I was talking about. So this is apparently you know, 12, 13 shops on the street, but this is what Audi says is like one of the most popular and there's more things going on here than I could comprehend, even if I knew what was going on. Looks like all types of curries and everything is gonna have sauce. We're down here at the bottom. We got all more of like your fried stuff. I see prawns. I'm guessing we'll have types of egg dishes, chicken. And look at this setting. Look at the old school signs here. Even more. Looks like jackfruit. Looks like young jackfruit here. Let me show you from outside the front. Incredibly impressive fried fish just came out. Fried oh, fish and, and eggplant. Uh, eggplant. And it's more in balado chili sauce. Balado? Balado the chili sauce. Oh. This is the cow cartilage, the tunjang that I love. Tunjang. Tunjang. What's this one called? Cow cartilage, tunjang. 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 Look at that, look at that vibrant orange color. And look at the workers right together. You got your big old thing of rice right here. How many dishes are you gonna get? Katanya kalau dia pesan yang dihidang berapa macam katanya? Yes, okay. Berapa macam katanya? Banyak sih. Banyak, banyak a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> banyak. 20. Okay, 20. So you got 20 Fred. dishes here. Brain. Oh, this is the brain. Brain. Of the cow? Yeah. Oh, so there's brain of the cow. Hanging with the girl. So much going on here. Craziness. Because this is the they finish the dish hmm. almost noon, right? Right. So the lunch rush, rush hour will be coming soon. So they finish all the dish, they portion it. Okay, so we're gonna put even more here. Yeah. More people, more food coming. You see, they're actually got people parking, they're trying to get them in, they're about to pack in here. Fish head curry, bule kepala ikan from snapper. Mm, from snapper. It's the snapper, snapper mm -hmm. fish. Yeah. yeah. Red snapper? Red snapper fish. And this is the specialty of the coastal area in West Sumatra. Mm -hmm. Like Padang, Pariaman in the area. Pasisir, Pasisir. I haven't met anything that Audrey doesn't know everything about. This bro is a true expert. This is the Ooh. tambusu, the innards. Yeah. The cow innards. Cow intestine. Enough. Enough? Enough. 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 In Minang, Lama. Lama. Lama is the Minang. Minang. Enough. Okay, so you have to say Lama. Lama Bana. Lama too enough. Lama Bana. Ah, Lama Bana. Very good. Lama Bana. Okay, I can do that. Lama Bana. Lamak mana? That's the power of just knowing a little bit. Y'all getting in here, a little bit of language just makes us smile. Look at that, filling up this plate. When you want to order just my plate, so you get a rice and dish, a side dish, like a curry. Right. And then you just choose fried chicken or something. Yeah, if you're eating one person, one right? One person or two person. But we can order also yes, uh, plates in the table. Right, man, one person, but that's a meal for two right there. That plate is cool, look at that. And this is the best thing, the bungkus. The nasi bungkus padang. Oh, it's a type of rice. This is all the rice? No, that's rice wrapped 
into this uh -huh. and it's with uh, banana leaves like that. Uh, okay. So when you put banana leaf in a hot dish, yeah. all the aroma is blending inside and infusion inside it. So after 10 15 minutes to open this, or just smell so the rice nice. and the curries and everything is mixed into this dish, okay. mixed into this pack. Oh, and now they're gonna give us like a type of sambal. You see the fish in there? You see little tiny fish, vegetables. Sambal ikan. Itu namanya sambal aduk wo. Sambal aduk wo. So steamed sambal. So you have beans and then eggplant and cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Ooh, delicious, nice, dark, bitter. And look at that, the fish in there, the chilies, the red paste that's created. Intense. You see, that's what he's talking about right there. You see the banana leaf, the wrapping. Get that rice, creates like a whole different type of meal. Sometimes I ask for uh, rice wrapped in the dish and then just eat here. It's like a nostalgic, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a whole different dish when you wrap it in that bamboo leaf yeah. and it sits there. Banana leaf. Or sorry, banana, banana leaf. When you wrap in that banana leaf and leave it for a while, it's like a whole different dish. Look at it. Wow. About that? Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, seven. That's like 20 dishes here. <laughs> like a baby. Just stay here like a baby. <laughs> There's a cow innard right there. We got fish, more fish. I'm gonna let Ari explain it. Tuna, oh, steak. It's a tuna. Potato berries, prawns, the chicken. That's the rundown. Okay, and that's the tunjang, the masterpiece of this place. You can see it, look at it. Again, towards the end. Chili. Chili. Okay. Teramakasi. Okay. Oh, look at it. Gorgeous spread here. Okay, now, every time I'm not sleep, I don't. The hardest part, where do you start? First, you gotta wash your hands. So get these little bowls, put your hands in there, clean them up just a little bit. Where do you like to start? Uh, this is my favorite, which is Gulai Tunjang. The cow's cartilage curry. Mm. Oh, you can see that fat. You can see it jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay. Yeah. So one for you, one for okay. me. I don't want to share this. The rest we can share. <laughs> <laughs> so we scoop uh, a little bit of the sauce here. Oh, the curry on the rice. Yeah. And the sauce is all different. This is the like uh, orangish color. Right. It's the chan chan. It's a different Ooh. type. Gotcha. It's much more uh, darker and uh, deep, so you mix with the sauce. And the, the best sauce. thing about nasi padang is all curry sauces need to mix. That's how you get the best flavor. Yeah. Oops. And then probably some veggies. Okay. Uh, this is the I want some of that sambal. This is the sambal wok. Wok. Wok means uh, steam in the Padang Minang local language, and they use type of tiny fish. So we have a chunk of sambal here with fish. Oh, beautiful. And then I love any type of tiny fish. If you're gonna like put it in a sambal, even better. And they serve it also with steamed veggies like uh, eggplant. eggplant, French uh, green beans, and this is the very default of Padang place is the cassava, steamed cassava mm. leaves. Down ubi, pucuk ubi. And this is okay. So you can dig in and then take the side dish more later. Okay, just go a little bit so here and there. Chili, yeah. We got more green chili, lots of things. Here we go. Oh, look at that. He's gonna get some papadon, so get a little, little crunchy, a little bits here. But look at that, that skin, that fat on this. I know why that's your favorite, man. You still? That's so good. 
but it's nothing without rice. Mm. This right here for me, the tiny fish, the yeah. sambal. So I'm ordering chicken pop, ayam pop. Mm. This is the special, fry, a special kind of fried chicken. No they skin. Use, no skin. And then uh, almost all the padang uh, chicken dish is no skin. Right. Real dish. And then the curry, no skin. No skin? No skin. I've never seen... No skin. They remove the skin. Oh. the meat. And for this, this is a pork chicken, ayam pop. So they made it in special dishes, special spices, including a coconut water. And then just flash fried a bit. And this is how they serve it. Oh, with a nice with red tomato, some... samba. Uh, this is something okay. you need to enjoy. And this is a la minute you have to order. Okay, that's yeah. a la car. You gotta order it. Yeah, you gotta order it. So it's still hot. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. The cassava leaves, that bitterness, breaks up all the rich flavors going on here. Right. Try the pop with uh, this sambal. Right. So much going on here. Just grab a piece That's and spoon the sambal in there. Yeah. Ooh, we got to yeah, put the camera down for this one. Oh. A first for me, fried chicken with no skin. But I like it. I don't. I feel like it wouldn't make any sense that you take the skin off and it's still juicy. But it's got to be that marination with the coconut water. Oh, and that tomato sambal. It's fiery. It's got a quick heat, fire, kind of just citrusy, almost got a little freshness to it. It's about the chili salad and the tiny fish. Mm -hmm. That's mackerel. Yeah, this is uh, Spanish mackerel. Yeah. I don't even think we made a dent in this. We already got an avocado smoothie ready to go. Bringing over here the Spanish mackerel. Look at what type of what type of curry is that on it? Uh, this is the spice base for grilling. Okay. So in Minang cuisine, when you grill something, you have a spice base. Right. Like this is for the fish and seafood. Right. If you go to Padang or uh, all the coast in coastal area in West Sumatra. Uh -huh. They smother seafood with this kind of spice base, and then they grill it. For chicken, they have another. So this has been Another closed type. in the cage and then grilled. Yeah, charcoal or uh, coconut husk. Oh yeah, coconut I've seen the coconut husk, husk before. Is it? It's good. It's nice, white, flaky fish. A little bit sweet. It's sweet, yeah. yeah. It's coconut milk. Right, okay. When you grill coconut milk, the sweetness came. The sweetness really comes yeah. out from the coconut milk in that. And it's really working well with my other right. sambals that are kind of like spicy and citrusy. Lamak bana. Lamak bana. Lamak bana. Lamak bana. No more sambal on there. Hmm. I had my face so deep in this plate of food, I didn't even realize there's a full house in here. I'm just having a little chocolate sauce now. Is this chocolate right here? Sorry? Is this chocolate? Uh, sweet condensed milk chocolate. Sweet condensed milk with chocolate. After you eat about four or five curries, the avocado smoothie just hits different. Uh, into the concoction and then just sip it. So the lime goes on the rim? On the rim or just in the... Oh, just a little shot of lime. So we got, is there egg tea? Te? Egg, te? Te talua. Te talua. So we got the te talua, which is their egg tea. I guess I'm coming from Vietnam. He thought I like egg coffee. I like egg tea, but look at this. Let's give it a little lime action here. Go ahead and coat the rim. Can I mix it? Yes. Okay, so mix. We got cameras on cameras working here. I'll come this way for you. <laughs> oh, you want to hold this one too? Oh, it's still hot. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. It's just an egg creamy custard. The tea actually cuts it back a lot. And this is this may be the X factor. That little touch of acid, that acidity, that freshness. Okay, I could do that. The tea is actually really strong, bitter. It's very, very similar to egg coffee in Vietnam. I thought egg coffee was so unique. Uh -huh. And then here y'all have like egg tea. But in uh, Padang they have egg coffee too, but uh, egg tea is much more popular. Mm. But you can order egg coffee you can too, do it. but this is uh, much more popular. Okay. For Indonesia, Indonesia. Even ginger, egg ginger. Oh, egg with, ginger. Oh. With hot ginger. Uh, that's a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> for Indonesia, I feel like Indonesia like creates a lot of things, but then doesn't get the respect for it. Mm, really. <laughs> Man. We're good inside the country, but sometimes internationally we don't get the recognition that we're Agreed. supposed to. I think it's just because like it's so big and diverse. You have so much and yeah. so, that so many people don't realize. Yes, the both uh, our weakness and our strength. We have a lot of food, a lot of type of food, so many tribes, each with its own distinct and uh, unique cuisine. So we have hundreds of cuisine, then we have uh, a lot of uh, food to promote outside. We don't. Right. Have, we cannot pick just them and then promote outside because the rest of the tribe we are not happy with it. And then people are just happy with like two or three dishes. Yeah. <laughs> So we asked for the bill. He's gonna go through, kind of see what we've taken from what we've touched, and that's what he'll uh, will pay for. <laughs> He's gonna to have to count a lot for that. Oh man, it was still under 200. That is insane. 198. 198. Did that give you enough cash? Uh, yeah. Um, just 10,000 short. Okay, I got it. And we'll get the money. 198. Just give me 100. Crazy. Okay, it's out of the way. So other people can get him a coffee. Ah, sama sama. Moro coming again. Moro coming. Okay, definitely. <laughs> he said, come again. Come Man, again. lovely people. You walk in there, they all light up. Even with the language barrier, they are very, very friendly. But. I only tried like four dishes. I go back. I got like 20 more dishes there to eat. Man, when did y'all get all these blue taxis? Those are new. I haven't seen them yet before. Oh, here's a satay padang sao. With beef. Oh, with beef. So you see how many different varieties there are? We had the goat from a specific area in Indonesia. Now they got the padang sao, which would be beef. Looks like. It's got a lot of satay sauce on it, but we're gonna walk, we're gonna get the rojak right now. Here. Rojak, oh, it's already here. Yeah. Okay, let's squeeze. We going to this one? Yeah. So they also have bakso, which is a meatball, soto. Yeah. That's the rojak, this is two, the two is the flag, okay. uh, the menu. Rujak uleg. What's uleg. a uleg? Uleg is a grind. The grind. Yeah. So they put it in the pestle mortar and grind it like. Yes. You see oh. them? They use the the wooden. Oh yeah! Look at it. It looks like a an L ish kind of. Here we got. I always call it like rose apple, or water apple, papaya, pineapple, sweet potato, some type of like. I think that says wear your mask. I don't know. This is the best pairing for rujak, kerupuk. Kerupuk? Tapioca crackers. We will dip it into the rujak sauce. Oh, it's like the tapioca? Yeah. Okay. You got them ready to go. <laughs> here they are here. Uh, this one mixed in with uh, fish. With ikan. This is only tapioca. This is with fish. Oh, so that's fish and tapioca. That's tapioca. It's cheaper one. Man, when you get a foreigner like me, I'd be like, oh, they're the same. Man, you got, you got one that has fish and one that doesn't. Let's go watch them kind of stir this up and see what happens. Mm, you know? You know? Mantap? Mantap. Mantap. Wow, what's all going on here? Pineapple, jicama, rose apple. There's that rojak sauce. A couple peanuts on top of it. Look at 
Is this a... Do you take this and just pour it? Uh, or do you dip? We pour it or dip, depends on the person. What are you? I'm dipping. Okay. Yeah. Okay, y'all, and uh, I'm gonna show you my Bajasa skills. I do believe this is bottled tea. Te batol. And then the Krupo. to complement. Quite sure I know how to do this. Just dip. Okay, this is the fruit ruja. Uh -huh. Many uh, fruit slice, and then uh, we dip it into the uh, peanuts, co uh, coconut sugar, or palm sugar, chili. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, trashy the shrimp paste or fish paste. Right. And grind it finely like this. You can either smother it into the fruit or just dip it like this. Uh, so, the, is this rojak or is this rojak? This is rojak. That's the rojak. Okay, I was not, not too far off. No. I've had this a few times. I love it if it has like a, a shrimp paste in it. Yeah, they have it. That's delicious. Oh, there's <coughs> definitely chili at the end of it. It's like granular sugar, but kind of like a molasses brown sugar, something deep like that flavor profile. Very viscous. And the lady here said that uh, besides shrimp paste, they also use special uh, banana uh -huh. that have rock in it, a rock banana, to, to make the consistency and give some tartness into the dish. Okay. You can try a little bit of tartness in the sauce. Yeah, you'd think it'd be just sweet and peanutty, but it's so much more complex than that. You get a little bit of uh, shrimp paste in there. Mm. There's like four or five textures coming from it. Peanutty, salty, sweet. Oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Every and sweet. We have like salty, sweet peanut bars. This is that, but 30 times better because it's so much more complex. It's not just peanut sugar and salt. I could snack on this every day. You don't think there's any heat in there, but it comes, it builds on the back of your mouth. 52 uh, with the oh, it's only 30 yeah, uh, the rujak. for the rojak and then the rings and the kruppuk. Rojak is 30. Okay, and then you get the little rice cakes add extra and we get the tea. So it adds up, but 50. 30 for that little plate. It's filling too, because like I said, that rojak is so heavy. I never showed you all the pesto mortar. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was good. Yeah, that's the thing oh, you. Thor's. Yeah, Thor. <laughs> looks like something Thor would have. Looks like something like Thor or some Marvel character would hold. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it. Nice lunch, a little street food journey. We're gonna go rest. Actually, I'm gonna show you my hotel room, and then we'll cut this video off because I'm staying in a cheap hotel. So I'm gonna show you all different types of accommodation. Let's go ahead and add that to that video. I'll meet you over there. So they got these cool apps you can pay with, but. I'm being prehistoric, paying with cash. We went about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than 30 minutes. We paid 30 rupees for a taxi. Not bad. Taxi company right here. You can download the app and just pay everything by card if you want. Much easier. They do have Grab here as well. But we'll head up here and I'll show you what the room looks like real quick before I finish this video. Hello, how are you? Oh, did they clean my room already? I think they made clean my room. Loud. Oh yeah, got clean already, good. You don't get to see how much of a mess I made. Okay, be a little loud in here. Big bathroom, lots of space here. Look, nice toilet, bomb gun. Maybe like a two out of five on the softness, not the softest ever. Sorry for everything going out here. Huge mirror. Lighting is really not bad. 
massive shower. The detail though, for a cheap hotel, like you get cool detail, like the wood on the floor here. I mean, really the Wi-Fi. we're gonna run a little Wi-Fi test on it and we'll put it on this part of this video as well. But look at it, we got Audi's back here. Uh, got my whole little section here with all my clothes I'm traveling with. Look at it. It's not well lit, so it's really nice to kind of sleep in. But it has about everything you need. Nice TV, it's cool, the AC works pretty darn well. I got actually pretty darn cold last night. I had it set on too much. But I mean, yeah, this is it. I mean, this, I'll put the price right here, but I don't think it was more than like $15. Real cheap, city center right next to the train station. We're gonna hit it tomorrow morning uh, and get on it, get to start this journey. Start off a little food tour, I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna go out tonight to eat as well. Uh, we're gonna do a specialty goat feet soup. We're gonna get to go there, you get to pick what energy you want, but it's not gonna be for YouTube. That's actually gonna be for my Facebook channel. So make sure to, you know, check me out on Facebook as well to see all the adventures. I'll give you one more little room tour right here. Still going with a detailed look at it. The cross section of the wood. I mean, I've been really happy. The only thing is I, I, I booked a, a double bed. So Audrey and I are gonna have to book him another room. I booked a double bed. They gave me a single. I understand I'm one person, but the thing that got me is Man, they sold out of all the non-smoking rooms, so I had to take the smoking room. There is a bad smoking stench in here. Again, they kind of went the extra mile. They come in here and they spray it often for me so it doesn't smell like smoke. There's a little afterling to it because you can't get the smoke out of the walls and stuff, but they really, really try here and I appreciate that. Swimming pool, I'm gonna check it out after we gotta do a little conference, a couple things. Uh, so the video's not quite over yet, uh, but if you wanna see more food, head over to my Facebook, check out that video. All right, and here we are, download 2.68, upload 2.78. I mean, if you wanna download some things, watch some things, that ain't too bad. But if you wanna upload anything, it ain't good, and I already know that, because I tried uploading something last night, tried uploading a video, Maddie got like 20%, took like an hour. So, as long as you ain't uploading stuff, maybe you wanna watch a little Netflix or even better YouTube, stick to YouTube. Um, it ain't that bad, you could probably watch a couple videos, but all in all, it's good, cheap room. Hopefully we'll get to check out the pool. I gotta admit, for a cheap hotel, it is a nice view up here. I don't like this. He says one, I thought it was three. Great view up here though. I get why though, so I think they opened a restaurant over here. But look at that. Nice pool, not too long. I really love the view though. Look at the parking deck. I gotta say, every time I come to Jakarta, now it's been a lot, I always forget how big it is. 